let's look quickly uh, at the, the content of these different which is a brief document. It's a very rich in biblical allusion if you uh, had a chance uh, to read it or reread it. And I just tried to sketch here uh, a few key issues uh, that are raised in the daily miracle. The first, it begins when it's going to talk about the origin of the Word of God. It begins it in the life of the Trinity itself. That the God of Christian faith is a God impelled to speak, to self-reveal. Not simply for that process, but because God desires fellowship, uses that term, communion with human beings. So the impulse of God as a revealing God is to seek communion, relationship with human beings. And this is a very fundamental category in which Dave Barron considers revelation. Revelation is not like a bulletin board on which certain messages are transmitted. It's not a communication of facts as such. But revelation is a relationship. The, the astounding conviction of Christian faith that God desires communion with God's own creatures. And that's what the word is. If you want to say, what's the word? The word is going to ultimately, in this scheme, and in Christian faith, and this is what Pope Benedict sort of reprises in his opening chapter of the Verb of Domen. The, the, the word that God is saying to the world is expressed in Johannine terms, God so loved the world, that the send and only son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world might have life through him. And we're familiar with this term, but what a way to set the notion of revelation. What a way to try to understand in its largest horizon what is the meaning of the scriptures for us. And, and this is the way that Dave Irvin begins. And it says in the second point that God spoke to the world in creation itself. The, the, the created beauty of the universe. Here, it doesn't draw this conclusion at this time of day, there, but here's the whole question of ecology uh, and reverence for creation. It already says, and this is drawing upon Jewish tradition already. It's quoted by Paul in the opening chapter of Romans. That God reveals the divine presence, the totality of the divine presence through creation. The human person their mind weakened by sin and lack of integrity at times has a difficulty grasping it. But all of creation, Jewish tradition even went on to say that all of the Torah can be found in reading in creation. That when God created the world, this is the book of wisdom, he said he had the Torah up here as his blueprint. So he created the world according to the Torah. So of course the world will Reveal the Torah. And, and this text day verb sort of picks up this notion. And then he goes on to say something else. Not just in creation, but in all of human wisdom. All of the people of goodwill strolling to speak the truth, who have articulated knowledge. That all of this, in a way, is God's word emerging in human experience. And of course, a very important channel of God's word becomes the history of God's chosen people. Israel emerging in the Christian community. That the events, the great characters, Abraham and sites in particular, the impulses to come to, uh, into Israel. And of course, finally, it cites the most privileged expression of the word of God are the sacred writings of the scriptures. The scriptures express in the fullness, particularly 
the scriptures relating to Jesus express the fullness of the word. But it wants to say in this text, and this is something very important, it goes back as a basis for the scientific study of the scriptures, or scientific study in theology, that there is innate harmony between the word revealed in creation and the word revealed in revelation. It says that revelation enables people to grasp it more readily, more immediately, without error, without confusion. But it's the same word revealed both in creative reality and in our scriptures. And then it moves on to something that was a, a kind of innovation uh, in De Verbo compared to the teachings of the First Vatican Council and the kind of theology that was encased in this first draft that the Council Fathers rejected. Uh, it wants to say there is not like two sources, tradition and scripture, that we have to attend to, like two you know, speakers. Uh, but rather, there is one word of God, one single word of God, that is expressed both in scripture and in tradition. This, this phrase in Latin, et, et, important. So what we're talking about, it goes on to say, and uh, Pope Benedict references this, that we're not really a people of the book. We can be assembled that way, you know, people speak of the people of the book, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. But in fact, we are not a people of the book, we are a people of the word. It's the word of God. That is what fashions us as a people. And that word is expressed both in scripture and in the ongoing reflection, intuitions, thoughtfulness, study, expressions, and teaching of the believing community animated by the spirit.